Well, if the best possible test you could do to rule in or rule out pyloric stenosis. Well, I think I'm showing my age here, but when I trained, it was to examine the patient. Uh, nowadays, uh, typically, uh, that uh, examination is augmented with an ultrasound. Uh, the ultrasound is uh, now considered the standard uh, method for uh, diagnosing pyloric What would you see in the ultrasound say this is pyloric stenosis? Uh, the pylorus is uh, markedly thickened and elongated in pyloric stenosis such that the channel, uh, the uh, space that the food is supposed to pass through, is uh, effectively obstructed by the thickened muscle. All pyloric stenosis once diagnosed have to be operated on? Well, typically pyloric stenosis is best treated with a uh, surgery. Um, there are some old studies that have looked at non-operative management and have Eventually, pyloric stenosis will resolve spontaneously, but this can be quite dangerous because the child continues to vomit, they can aspirate, they can become dehydrated and malnourished, and it's certainly a severe not, electrolyte imbalance, and they can develop profound electrolyte imbalances.